my people who are late to the party with this one I gave you almost all of your credit for just finishing part one on time if you're turning this in late you don't need to worry about part two because you're not gonna get full credit anyway I don't know how much different this is gonna be from the video that I did before but I will do this anyway for my people that say they're struggling to read instructions choose one item from the shopping tab below put the full price of that item not including shipping or including shipping if listed in the blue box so shopping tab got your choice of items All right now I'm not going to choose one of these because again I don't want mine to be exactly like yours so I put a price that's not there but you're going to choose one of these prices it doesn't really matter which one so you could do $394.99 free shipping just put that in a box or you could do $398 plus $12 for the retro OG baby blue Air Jordans right I'm gonna just put a number in for my balance let's say I'm actually let me put a small number for me all right let's say 120 I get a hundred twenty dollar item okay we're gonna pretend we played with it paid with a credit card that has an APR of 24 percent and a minimum payment of thirty dollars a month we're gonna pretend we pay that minimum thirty dollars each month okay again I don't want mine to be exactly like yours so let's let's look if I if I pay thirty dollars a month right I should be able to pay off this card in four four payments right four times 30 is 120 okay I think for me it's gonna take five payments um, I'm gonna up this number a little bit 220 just to just to better illustrate all right so now maybe it should take me six seven eight seven or eight payments <clears throat> until what happens all right in the yellow box put the formula equals b12 minus c12 equals b12 minus c12 that's those two boxes it's just saying take take the cost minus my payment to get what remains and then this is the formula that works against you if you make a minimum payments with a credit card okay I should only owe them $190 but because I didn't pay it all off right away they are charging me some interest all right so they added three three dollars to my well, three to four dollars to my account all right just a little bit I'm gonna pay that thirty dollars again so copy the formula from d12 into d13 copy that control c paste it control v control c as in cat control v as in victory all right then highlight the four boxes in row 13 oh we didn't do this one yet purple in the purple box up here it says put the formula equals a 12 plus one okay now in the Roth IRA activity we were looking at years now we're just looking at months all right now I'm going to copy all of these control C remember if you want to copy multiple boxes at a time you're going to hold down the shift key and use the arrows so that you can highlight them all, all right control V this is the second month so so first time I pay thirty dollars second second month pay thirty dollars third month pay thirty dollars and we'll continue like this all right again if, if I want my numbers to look more like money I can hit this money button up here all right so here we go now eventually you'll reach a point where your remaining balance is negative All right, and if that's the case uh, really what it means is that you you didn't need to pay thirty dollars that last payment could have been just 25 22 pay it off all the way okay 
you get yourself to that point and there's some questions on the side. How many months did it take to pay off? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven months. All right, took seven months to pay off. What is the total that you ended up paying? Add up all the payments in column C. That means I need to add 30 plus 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 25.22. Right? Or you can multiply this right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 times 30 is 210 plus 25, 22 is $235.22. All right, how much extra did you end up paying? 235 minus 220. I ended up paying an extra $15.22, right? That doesn't feel like a lot, right? So you might not understand why why I'm saying this is a big deal, but remember your table is going to go down farther because your item is going to be more expensive and this is just one item, just one bill. What if I'm spending $220? on the regular and only paying a little bit back to my credit card company 15 extra dollars here 15 extra dollars there starts adding up right after a week of 15 extra dollars we up to 105 already and remember remember that I told you in a Roth IRA assignment $15 a day is the cost of being a millionaire so do we really have an extra $15 to be paying to a credit card company? All right, uh, obvious answer alert. What payment should we make if we want the credit card bill to never charge us extra? That, I, that, I say that's an obvious answer because here's your balance. They say you owe us 220. If you don't wanna pay them anything extra, you don't pay the minimum, you pay the maximum. I pay my 220 at the end of the month my remaining balance is zero when they calculate the interest zero I don't owe them anything anymore if you use your credit card and you pay it off at in in full at the end of every month you never pay anything extra all right this one I'm still looking for a great answer to it number eight if you can think through that answer uh, I'm I'm, I'm comfortable with the wrong answers that I got. I'm not going to tell you the answer to this, but uh, I think it's worth thinking about. Do answer the questions along this side, up through number 9. Uh, you don't have to worry about number 10 at this point because you're already late and you're not getting full credit anyway.